This is the reason why I put pants on in the morning. I know that he's always like supportive in there for me. With your smile. You had this beautiful dream and then you slowly see it turning into a horror film. Stop talking. I never know how to end these little segments. Good morning. <clears throat> this morning started out rough. Well, actually last night started out rough. Charlie's having a really hard time breathing, like wheezing and coughing. I don't know if it's from the smoke, like paired with being sick. Just so you know, uh, during this time there was a huge fire going in the gorge and so that's the smoke I was talking about. We had a lot of smoke coming in like ash falling and it was affecting our respiratory so yeah or if maybe it's turned to pneumonia i don't really know what's happened charlie's the only one that's still really holding on to this sickness and so we're kind of waiting it out this morning um we had to give him medicine Tylenol. He looks like he's feeling better, but he definitely did not sleep well last night. And we're going to wait and see how he kind of progresses, and we may have to call and make a doctor appointment. This will be like, I think we started getting sick on Friday, and today is now Thursday, so it's almost been a whole week of being sick. I don't know what this like is but it's terrible we're we're done we don't want it anymore leave so we're missing more of our floor and they've dug <clears throat> and found what is that a hole in our foundation yeah our foundation's compromised foundation is compromised we Needed to stop by the house to get mail. I'll tell you what, every time we pull up, it's like <clears throat> one of those, I don't know, nightmarish type things where you had this beautiful dream and then you'd slowly see it turning into a horror film. I got some stuff for the kids to do in the hotel room other than watch TV because going on a month and a half now and Timer hasn't even freaking started. There's. They need more than TV. And everyone else has started school. And I was supposed to be homeschooling Frankie this year. And I have all the. I, not all the stuff. I have some of the stuff at the house, but not everything that I needed. So we had to grab a couple extra things so that I could maybe start doing some semblance of school for Frankie because I was gonna do it through the summer. That was my plan for the summer, was to get Frankie ahead in school and I've done none of it. And if anything, I feel like he's falling really far behind. And my house, they haven't started, so they found our foundation is compromised. They said they won't work on it. And our insurance hasn't gotten a hold of us, and now they're closed. It's East Coast. So we found out yesterday that they weren't going to work on our foundation or on our house because of the foundation. And um, we we got we called the insurance last night. They were closed, and they haven't gotten a hold of us today. And they're closed now again today. And so there goes a whole. They stopped working last Wednesday. Today is Thursday. So there goes a whole other week of literally nothing happening. So we'll be lucky if we're in our house by Thanksgiving. I kept saying Halloween, hoping for Halloween, praying for Halloween. It's going to be Thanksgiving. Frankie, do you see the Tilcom Bridge? I see it. It's hiding right there. Yeah, behind the trees. 
It finally doesn't look smoky, does it? it looks kind of nice. And there's our room right there. <laughs> we came back to the hotel and we did some schoolwork. You coming, Bear? Yeah, no, this way. Come on. <laughs> Uh, we did some schoolwork and then ate dinner and then now we are headed to uh, Awana and Frankie is doing his first night of Sparks which that is the club that I remember doing as a kid and Awana if you don't know is kind of like the Boy Scouts for church, you memorize verses and uh, attributes and characteristics of, you know, moral people and I don't know. I loved doing it and you earn, like, in this faction of Awana, you earn jewels and you, I don't know, you play games, you do all the fun stuff. Cubbies last year. You memorize verses and you earn patches, but it just isn't Don't mind me. as fun. Charlie, were you running away? But yeah, that's where we're headed. I do a group called Amen Sisters, which is a group of mom friends that just happen to get together at the same time. Um, not everyone in the group has kids in Awana. It just happens to happen at Awana time, so most of us that have kids of Awana age happen to put our kids in Awana because it's a chance for us to have the kids do something positive that doesn't require us to do anything. I need to go back to the room over there. And Will forgot something in the room. Run! Run! <laughs> I was wrong. Amen Sisters was not happening this night. Um, there was a parents of Awana kids question and answer kind of time, new information. If you weren't familiar with our program and what we offer at our church specifically and in general, just Awana what it is. Um, they, during Amen Sisters, they do have child care for Charlie because he is not Awana age. And I would normally put him in except he was sick. So me and him hung out and just killed time until Will and Frankie were done with Awana because I didn't mention before, but Will is a counselor for Awana for the older elementary school age kids. Um, yeah, and I didn't finish recording anything because it ended up being really hard for me to do anything with Charlie. He wanted to be in with the older kids and in his nursery room, and I wasn't letting it happen because I hate being the mom that puts her sick kids in with healthy kids and making healthy kids sick. So this is the end of my vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.